Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you guys the books that I've read in February and March. And in total I read six books, but like half of them are for my Dutch classes because I had oral exams and for the oral exams we had to study our books and yeah, I was kind of late with that so I still needed to read the books that I was going to talk about on my oral exam. So this will be a very quick wrap up because I don't really have a lot of things to say about these books. Let's start off with the two books or poetry collections that I read for the read a theme readathon theme of February. So we chose poetry as the theme for this month. So the first one was my favorite, The Princess Saves Herself in This One by Amanda Lovelace. I gave this one, I think like a four and a half to five out of five stars. I really enjoyed it. It really touched me. And this was the first poetry book that I've ever read and it was very emotional. That's basically all that I can say about it. Uh, it's not something that you can really spoil, but the poems are just really beautiful. And then the second one that I read, which was kind of a disappointment to me, was Milk and Honey by Ru Rupi Carr, I think. This is also a super well-known poetry collection, but I just didn't really feel it. Like, it was kind of okay. It talked about the same thing forever and ever, and um, I don't know, some poems were really pretty, but then other ones I was just like, meh, just not really my thing. Everyone is raving about this. It has like a 4.34 out of 5 stars on Goodreads, but I gave it a 3. It's like, I read it, but it's not that special to me. And then an actual book, like a normal book that I read in February was This Savage Song by Victoria Schwab. And I have to say, this one didn't really disappoint me, but it didn't surprise me as well like it did with a ton of other people here on booktube. A lot of people love this one and they say that this is their new favorite sort of like dystopian fantasy novel. And with me, it isn't. But then again, I also really like it. I just have really weird and mixed feelings about this book. So this book is about a world where when you do something bad, you create a monster out of your crime and you have three kinds of monsters. You have the Corsai, the Melkai, and the Sunai. And the Sunai monsters are really rare. So we follow two main characters. Uh, we have Kate, who wants to be just as vicious as her father. And we follow, I believe his name was August. Yeah, August, who is one of the three Sunai in this world that we follow. And he wants to be a human, but he isn't. He's a monster. Once I got into it, I was really enjoying it. But I believe that then I had my test week and I had to sort of like stop reading and then it all of a sudden didn't really interest me that much anymore while the ending is really action-packed but I really want to reread this again before I will be reading our dark duet which comes out I believe in June and I'm actually really excited to pick that one up but I believe that I gave this one a three and a half out of five stars because I still really enjoyed it so I don't know, this one is just a little bit of a, a weird book for me, I guess. So those were the three things that I read in February and only one of them is like an actual book. I wanted to read something contemporary, so I picked up If I Was Your Girl by Meredith Russo. Hmm, hmm, this book was also kind of meh. If I Wish Your Girl is a story about Amanda who is transgender and she is the new girl at school. Uh, so she makes new friends and she falls in love with this guy but she doesn't know how to tell that she's transgender. And this is a high school exploring yourself, finding yourself sort of love story, I guess. But it wasn't as deep as I wanted it to be. Like, it was kind of just all happening on the surface. You didn't really get to know a ton of the characters, in my opinion. I definitely think that The Art of Being Normal by Lisa Williamson is just a lot better for, like, a read about transgender people than this one. And then the last two books that I read in March were for my Dutch classes, so I'm not really gonna say much about them because I don't really care about these books. So the first one was um, Verborgen Gebreken by Renate Dorrestein. Don't know what the title is in English, but I read it, it was fine. Then I read this book, which is The Kleine Blonde Dood by Boudewijn Boeg, and I marked some things in the story and yeah. So those were the six books that I read in February and March. I am really happy that all of my oral exams are over because right now I can just read any YA book that I want and I'm like so happy that I can right now. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos and I will see you guys next time. Bye!